<laughs> I am not a butler. I'm struggling with that. <laughs> also, that chandelier is dangerous as fuck. Yes. <laughs> now this fucking is a... chow with the base. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's arms can't even fully reach. Uh. Also, why did they leave a, they leave a loss on, on Chow working? <laughs> True, we were supposed to be the only employee on the train besides the conductor. Wait, so are Chow not considered actual people? Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> well, there's a security guard. Whoa. I know, he's not suppo uh, we're supposed Elevator. to be the only employee. So, but is he getting is he getting paid? Do the chows get paid? We know that one chow is like uh, wanted for malpractice. This rabbit hole gets weirder and weirder, and also we don't have cream. The, the more I think cream. of cream, now the, the more I think of cream, the more I think of her mom from that one animation that she showed me, uh, Sonic as Community. And, uh, I'll make your ass linear. Yeah. <laughs> make your ass make sense. Yeah, I'll make your ass sense. Ugh, now's as good as any time to clean out my pockets. I know you don't want to talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word heard in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? I see you've made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> well, see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I love the like defeated energy there. <laughs> not saying a thing. You lot, oh, you lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Pineapple, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk, so let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Oh. Starting off, let's do this! Yes. Tails! No. <laughs> Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Pineapple. And you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get... First of all, I think we've shown you, Tails, that we have bad impulse control and we are very ignorant to what hurts us. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Pineapple? There's always something. <laughs> Sigh. All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, mm. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory! Are you <laughs> sure it isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. <laughs> There's always <laughs> success if you check the trash bits. Crumpled paper is added to your victory. I said victory instead of inventory, I just realized. Hmm. A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting that there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. I mean, he's been handing out the keys, so... Yeah. See, the printer's hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? <laughs> I'm not going for the boat. Yeah. This part is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. I won't uh I won't let it stop me. <laughs> <laughs> also, what kind of interface would it have? If it's connected to the computer, all you have to do is right click on image, get it to the right size, and then just print. Yeah. yeah. Like you know how bad I am with computers, guys, but even I can figure that one out. Ugh. This is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. <laughs> they, 
told us about this in my interview. The lounge is computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on a computer missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. This is for when everyone else is asleep. There's like one spot. Notice there's a waste paper basket right under. You know what they're doing. In front of the hands. Hey, sometimes <laughs> with the hands. Hey. It's another robot arm. It's just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell to do something? Oh, no. But I'll give it a shot. Hey, robot arm, can you... What do you want to do? <laughs> uh... I mean, I think it's funny that you can ask for a high five. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet! Yeah. I wish that was added to our Three inventory. Friends. High five? Yes. High five. Pineapple, we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I guess you were. Ooh, better get back to the investigation. I mean, technically you can leave, you just shouldn't. Uh, hey, yeah. it's the big chow band! Give us a chance! <laughs> that was spiritual. I feel reawakened. <laughs> before we talk to Amy and then Shadow. Can we open up this wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, there's a reason you want me to do it? <clears throat> what if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. <laughs> Which do we want to do? Do we want to stand up for ourselves? <laughs> yeah, nah. Open, open yourself. <laughs> Alright, watch a pro. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All this dust, you just opened the door. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere! <laughs> also, I, I assure, saw... I, I assure you, if uh, Tails opened it, it probably wouldn't have been nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Pineapple! What? It's good. I gotta activate something. What the heck? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have, have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must be something big. Oh! Oh! First of all, how does that work? This is a train! The, this is the library! Interesting. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh, quick. Back through the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory! The entire <laughs> hidden passage is going in our pockets! <laughs> yep. I think we found enough clues. Let's go to interrogate Shadow and find Literally, him. Literally a pocket dimension. Yep. Also, just doing a quick save. A dimension in our pocket. Oh, I forgot we can hey. do this with these. Hey. the big chow band. Take a beat. Visit music plant zone. <laughs> <laughs> And you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? A hot tip, but oh all will be revealed in due time. You do realize Just this a tip. <laughs> Damn it, Wiley! <laughs> <laughs> also, I just want to point out, Amy, what you're doing is considered obstruction of justice. <laughs> I think I'll be shedding... Big, a big light on this whole case. <laughs> I hear you scaring. scaring. <laughs> no way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. You're ready to challenge Shadow. Talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it was. She seems confident. We'll hold you to that. Here, Citric, I'll do it. <laughs> Good. I'm not ordering a single thing until we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. That's actually surprisingly clever. No, no, no. See, the thing is that 
dessert doesn't go to your stomach, it goes to your heart. You always have room for dessert. <laughs> nah, see, I'm the opposite. I, I'm very much the guy who will gorge himself on my meal, so I am never thinking about dessert. I... Like, I have a sweet tooth myself, but the thing with dessert, with, like, having a big meal, I always have room for dessert. Ah, uh, see me? Typically, if I'm going out for any kind of meal, which is when I would, when there would be a dessert for, like, having, because I can just have snacks whenever. But if I'm going out for a meal, the meal is the point of it. Dessert would just be like, eh, whatever. Like, if I'm going out with my family to a place and I'm getting, like, some grilled salmon, the salmon is always the priority. I'm going to get as much of that as I can. I mean, I don't get to be wrong. Like, yeah, like, like I can have a full meal and just, like, end it up with a cup of coffee, but... but... Like, ah, uh, if they have good desserts, I'm not passing on the opportunity. Uh, like, like, if it's bready I'm... cake or whatever, then yeah, that's too much. But if it's just, like, ice cream, it's, like, it's gonna melt. Right? It's liquid. Fair. It just makes sense. Okay. Just works. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> I'm just imagining someone holding a Crimson King. It just works! <laughs> Why'd you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare! Oh, sorry. So cold. You have not read part 8, right? Uh, I've not finished part 8. I was up to a certain point uh, where... Uh, I remember uh, Vitamin C got finished. And uh, we started to meet more of the uh, stone humans. Yeah, because if, like, people, I almost felt people complain too much about King Crimson, but the, like, the stand, like, of the main guy in part eight, like, that's just bullshit. <laughs> True, but also, Araki... also, 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 something wet is one of the bullshit stands. Yeah, but it's also technically two stands fused together. Yeah. Which slight like spoiler for part eight, but let's be honest here, most people are only watching the anime, so no one will remember that. Yeah. And also, it's one of those things I'll always throw out to people, like, to be like, spoilers, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has been going for over 30 years at this point. Yup. If you're not keeping current, that's on you. And at this point, I'm no longer current, which I was for a vast majority of its run. Like, I want to say 2010, I... Uh, found ways to actually read online and get translations, which so many people now, like, don't know the roughness of not having Viz direct uh, translation for that. So many people don't they know... Will never, Go ahead. They will never experience, they will never experience a, be a beautiful Duang. Yes, a lovely, lovely day to Duang. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe we can get out of here, actually. Pineapple, we certainly will not. <laughs> no, I'm taking his order. That's it. I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip it right up. How do you take your coffee? <laughs> <laughs> With guns. <laughs> just do that ass class thing. Yes, properly seasoned. It just needs one last thing. Gun. <laughs> Ugh, a coffee on a train. Talk to SMG. <laughs> <laughs> There's no also, took, took, took me a second that you were you were talking about assassination class because the abbreviation of ass class is quite a choice. <laughs> Listen, man. Ass class. <laughs> <laughs> me and my friends have been calling it that. Like, I don't know if anyone else on the internet called it that. Probably it's not hard leap, but me and my friends were calling it that like almost as soon as it first came out. <laughs> but we also. Fair like, enough. There's so many times when before, like, uh, it was common to translate the names of certain series, you just get Japanese, like, names, and sometimes if you're reading something that's a, uh, a mangization of a light novel, or if it's just something that's trying to do something in a light novel's vein, you get those super long light novel in Japanese, like, titles, and so yeah. you just come up with your own name for it, like, uh... I think I mentioned this on a different stream. I think it might have been Saved by a Spell. But one series I love is Koei no Kitachi, which is a series that's great if you're a masochist. But uh, because even though it, was, it has a simple name, uh, given the story, I always just called it Trials of a Deaf Girl. <laughs> because it is, it's one of those series that, like I explained last time, 
uh, after a point, the running joke of the story is, hey, Vaughn, a new, cha a new uh, chapter of Trials of a Deaf Girl came out. At which point I just go, oh, do we finally get to heal? <laughs> the healing begins here, right? Right, Mike? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Some marshmallows would even get perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. <laughs> Shadow, we have a question for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we question everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned you running into you. Has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and and I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Amy White. <laughs> Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Don't scoop us with your tip, okay? We're not into pegging. He's holding <laughs> his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, or Sonic was stationed. The store, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? The shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. Keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the other doors. So no one... So one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. It will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped. He couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, oh no. If Shadow <laughs> did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Pineapple and I can explain the car change, however. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually wish that they would have just gotten this the knuckles, oh no, for all of the gotchas. <laughs> Pineapple, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gone to the dining car? Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Oh fuck, okay, let's do this. Now what is Shadow's, uh, like, projectile? <laughs> Okay, it's a really short one. That's a little trick here. Mm -hmm. I had. Okay. I also just noticed that pineapple's written there in terrible font. Okay, oops. Yeah. I got distracted by pineapples game, uh, dream gear. Not a game gear, it's a dream gear. Do people even, re do people even remember the game gear? Vaguely, but I never had one. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> there you are, white dude. Thank you. Jam though. Oh, 
There you go. Nice. Pineapple and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? Uh, secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past uh, the distracted boys playing the uh, playing arcade, and safely arrived in the dining car. Excellent work, Pineapple. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, then brought... then thought the crime scene being so close to a station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door of the conductor car on the way out, then dropped the body off in the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am! But of course, this is just a theory. Not a game theory, though. I was waiting for one of us to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have, like, scowl at whoever did that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! Ah, seems Tail and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, had Espion Vector not see him? Well, uh... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around those... Or around two people. Pineapple, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, SBO and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles. Mm hmm. SBO was reason. I'm both are true. We Either or. Yeah. Either or, yeah. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about SBO? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. <laughs> Shadow, I had no idea about this. <laughs> Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at, what, at whatever game I left the saloon car, I spent some time looking for Espio. He was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you. Or like I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Uh. If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I don't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Pineapple and I can further validate Shadow's claim. We can do that? Pineapple, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The key ring. Literally the keys. <laughs> that feels good. Now, get my thoughts in order. Fuck it! <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Not so good, not so good. <laughs> Short one though. I mean, all of these are short. I think that's it's the fact that they're so dangerous. Yeah, perhaps that plays in the idea that these are thin. Like shadow is quick, so the stage should be over quick. I don't know. Or he just wants you to go away soon. True. Nice! Oh. Getting better at this! Oh, give me one second here. Uh, 
the robot's asking for the name of the manga I was talking about. Two. Wait, look at that too? Yeah. Not joke! Oh, hey, there we go. For those who forget, I have to manage to chat uh, with my uh, phone. There we go. I mean, people will be more familiar with it by the name of a silent voice, like they did ad adapt it to a movie. Yeah, but this way he'll get the manga, because the movie, like, the manga is very good, but it's also like only 60 chapters, so it's quick to get through, even though I think it's around 30 to 40 pages a chapter, because it was a monthly. But the mm -hmm. movie, like, cuts down a lot of stuff. It's so highly character and story focused. I always recommend that people read it first, even though, uh, it was originally just a one-shot that got adapted, so you can get uh, the entire premise of the story and the first, and basically, the first ten chapters in just the one-shot. There's only one reason that uh, there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. Violet. No way. There we go. <laughs> what of his own key? Can one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I love every time they do the, like, are you fucking serious, Amy face. <laughs> so let's, oh, there's you. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. And then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, What possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Pineapple and I know exactly why Shadow was look was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including <laughs> me too? <laughs> First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Huh? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there you are. Guess some Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Oh! Understood. Thank you, Amy. Pineapple. Ah, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. No shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for he, you, me, and Amy. He, he bought her tickets to the band concert. <laughs> yep. The, the piece of paper in the trash. Mm -hmm. Right, the conductor gave Amy the birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? He bought the present here, though. <laughs> Not us, Pineapple. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. <laughs> <laughs> what? Excuse me? I would never do that. It's my birthday. You know, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dare pineapple oh, show me evidence. Huh? <laughs> if Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep him uh just was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence? Dear Lord, I hate the I hate the Phoenix Wright style of saying like ten things when it's just like, can I open my inventory? <laughs> that feels right. Just organize my thoughts. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you didn't have to do any of these in the casino, so. <laughs> oh. oh Jesus. Oh dear Lord. What the fuck? Hold on, you have to jump and use the jump pad at the same time? Like, that's the idea? <laughs> yeah, I think you have to jump with the jump pad. Oh, you got to jump after hitting the bounce pad, yeah. 
currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current <laughs> favorite. Oh lord. <laughs> All the members have B after their name. Yes, he he isn't it cute. I haven't gone through any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be online you have to be very online at a specific time so they sell out in minutes. Oh. So the question becomes why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The print on the Hot Honey Band Ticket website exists because... <laughs> <laughs> he's a big fan, of course. No, hold on. What if he actually wanted the tickets for himself and we're just throwing on trying under the bus? True, but I also well, <laughs> otherwise he wasn't getting it. He did get any kind of present for Amy, and also I told you that this uh, game might have provided Shadow Amy shivers a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I, I I know it's like he's buying the ticket for her, but I think it would have been funnier if he just wanted the tickets for himself and like, yeah. like, he, he just now has to save face and give them away. <laughs> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job of hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. I want to believe that he's going to try to get around them selling out using chaos control. <laughs> the shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the uh, homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not, a fa I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. They're like, accuse you of murder. <laughs> Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Ah, sorry. <laughs> That's all a detective job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone also had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately <laughs> began brainstorming <laughs> ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets were actually on, weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased them yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. For the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. Because he has the master key. Because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. <laughs> really? <laughs> 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 
Shadow, I, your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too... Uh, how about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and I'll make it up to you. You can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. Eee, I can't wait! It's a show of a lifetime. Ah, uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures of the c from the concert, you two. I I hate selfies, but I fear that I will be in many of them soon. <laughs> so if the name of, if the name of the ship is Shamey, because that would be appropriate. Yeah, Shamey. I am sh I am shaming them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has finally reached the end. I believe my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe such Shadow was behind everything. Credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Actually, it's not down the drain unless you actually printed it. Yep. Amy, I'm curious, who is the source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but I, uh, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. <gasps> We need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. I'll join as well. Time to see this through the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Pineapple, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right then, let's do it! After a few more songs. <laughs> listen, I would love to I would love to listen to this band more, but I'm also probably gonna grab some uh put on some pants and grab a like uh some beer from the gas station as soon as we're done with this stream. Should we really sort out my evidence before I continue? Uh, before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's car yet. Feels empty. Also, is that just a young conductor? He just keeps a younger picture of himself up here? No. <laughs> Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly has happened here. I also now voice three characters here. It's going to be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. <laughs> Shadow! <laughs> oh, you're coffee. <laughs> this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's that say in the mug? Cup of Joe in your wife by your side. Paradise. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite things about about characters. I've noticed his screens in, throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's very really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. It was so cute. And the next ad for... Nasal medication that was a little jarring. Though. <laughs> <laughs> the high quality screens probably didn't do the ad, ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here for a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to uh, Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 33 years is a long time. I wish them lots of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. <laughs> uh, yes, I wish that too. Trash gun. Trash. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding that clue here, the clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. 
<laughs> Wait, there was oh. something on the floor. Yeah. Screwdriver. Yeah, I know. I was gonna. Yeah. That's what I was. This okay. robot arm's been completely torn off. Oh. Yuck! How creepy. That arm is powerful. It'll be tough to break egg out of its grip. A lot of people here had the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log, log this. Aye, aye, sir. I also wish, like, uh, Pineapple would have commented, What? You're all strong enough to rip these arms out? <laughs> <laughs> why, why were we scared of the arms earlier, Tails? Also, why would not you tell me that? I'm terrified of all of you now. Microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Yes! Start beatboxing! <laughs> yes! Your armpits stink. <laughs> Pineapple, why are you reaching for the me- <laughs> It's good! Just, uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment? Well, that's what that the was... band is for. <laughs> That was impressive, Pineapple. Thank you for sharing. I love how, like, shot, <laughs> like, uh, uh, Shadow was. Okay, so we know that. So we've got this and this. Okay, let's just try this. I didn't realize these arms were also could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive the train flawlessly. Aw, <laughs> oh, guys! Aw. Oh. <laughs> Event! Mongus. Hmm, it's a large one. It seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me. I'm not, not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the tails, right. Pineapple! Ah! Oh yeah, we can talk to these two. Is it odd that we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he'd, he had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, the train's quick spit, uh, speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> Before we talk to Amy, I think we should keep looking around for clues. Oh, good call. Oh. Okay. There must be something we're missing here. Check those. And also, like, she's the point where the story is going to move forward. You can tell people that their armpits are sticky. <laughs> I just pick up the screwdriver. I didn't see a screwdriver. I... Let's gotta get through this line. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I just move it so that way I don't double click on it again. Yeah, ah, there it is. Kind of see. Yep. <clears throat> What's this? Was someone playing darts? Oh, oh, it's a dart actually. That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Oh. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before laying them aboard. Let's make a note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Well, you two? You think you have enough evidence for me to call someone, everyone here? High time we named a suspect. What do you think, Pineapple Ray solved this case? I mean, I guess... Hello everyone, this is Birthday Girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. It's about to get real crowded I mean, here. I mean, just looking by the evidence given, <laughs> the only one not accounted for is Cespio, because Shadow said he did not saw him at the library. Yeah, and there's a secret passageway, which he could have mm -hmm. found while looking, through, while looking for books. Or he could have been told about it ahead of time because of this lore card. Mm-hmm. Also, if, Wonderful. Like, if, if we are factoring in like the what the characters can do, he can literally go invisible. Yeah. 
<laughs> I want that to just be like a and thing a where like nobody mentioned it, and Pineapple's like, "What? He can do that?" <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Pineapple. Pineapple just awkwardly waves. Also, why hasn't <laughs> Sonic shown up? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> hmm. Vector. Real quick, can you come up with me to get Sonic? You must still be tending to be dead, lazy bum. Sonic, very dead. SBO. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> Ready? Let's go get him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ragdolling Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it! Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so scat and so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. And I love good thrill, it seems. On this train, I am but a humble poet. <laughs> I also realize why he's wearing a skirt and not shorts, so he can accommodate his tail. Yeah. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. Uh, it says here that the train does escape rooms as well. Sequel bait? I mean, that would work. I've also never yeah. been to an escape room. I I'm not sure if they actually have any locally here. It's also one of those things where you need a group of people to really have fun with it. Yeah, you yeah. can just do an escape room with randos. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Yup, Sonic is very dead. <laughs> He's walking knockered. <laughs> He's not responding to us. Sonic? Sonic! Thank you for doing a full-on Metal Gear for us there, Wily. <laughs> what? Is I was hurt? gonna voice SBO as fucking Snake, though. <laughs> <laughs> the voice I was doing. Why isn't he moving? Middle Sonic! Gear. Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. There's a pulse that's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Ellipses. <laughs> I knew one of them. I... I knew you one of them would take this too far. She took out the hammer. <laughs> Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this, could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? Look at the like heavy shadows in her face. Like She looks menacing. Also, I think I just realized who did this, and I think I have a big reveal, but I'm gonna wait for the game to do it, because I don't want to spoil it if I'm right. I mean, we went to the casino. Like, it, it, it's kind of obvious who's going to be. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is inexcusable! Sonic's hurt! I'm going to expose the monster who did this! Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you to get to the bottom of these tales. Absolutely. Me too. Say. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. Punish the one responsible. Vigilante justice! <laughs> Sonic! He really was hurt the whole time. And I did nothing! I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer! Tails, Pineapple, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room 
did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Dun dun dun. Well, there's only one person we can actually accuse. I am curious. Does it give you the option of hovering over to the portrait of the conductor? Yeah. No. I'm just curious. No, no? Yeah. So that's someone who Doesn't I was going to accuse because he's also a large man and you can't trust large mm -hmm. men in the Sonic game. Mm -hmm. So, let's save and then we can also possibly press it and see how things go. So who do we want to try accusing even though we're pretty sure it has to be Espio? That's the, that's the question. Do we want the answer right away, or do we want to see what happens with the wrong ones? Yeah. True, let's... we could do the ship ship thing, detective thing. Yes, let's try it. <laughs> Wait, why is it... <laughs> why is it even an option? <laughs> that can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Uh, that's right, let me pick again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh, well. Uh, uh, well. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Yeah, no, just go for SP, I think. Yeah. yeah. Also, kind of lame that you can like brute force it like this, but eh, it's a quick game. Yeah. It's no, no big deal. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Oh. Ellipses. Submission point. <laughs> I didn't know such a thing. Young friend. Baby. What if it's a battle of wits? You wish. I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the hell you're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You you have nothing. Staying Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He had no access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Oh, that's right. I know. Could you fill everyone in? What do we find? For push Espio's alibi. Espio could have left the library car at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, lounge the hidden passage exits the wardrobe uh, behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors. But that would uh, put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence that I that I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true that you didn't miss a question, but I think Pineapple and I can explain that too. Pineapple, that Espio know everything uh, in the train manual he was reading. A ninja like him speed reads. <laughs> he's a poet. He's a like, weird reader. <laughs> <laughs> I love that look. Oh, fuck. They actually know ninjutsu. <laughs> SBO is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different language languages. Damn. Like, wow, that's actually more than the obscene amount of languages they gave to Lara Croft in the new Tomb Raider franchise. Would you want to know how ridiculous that is? She is 18 and knows 15 different languages. Me? Huh. Yeah, at that point, I'm just like, how'd you have time to study anything else? Because a lot of the ones she knows, like, she knows, like, Cantonese and Ma Mam, which is a language I never heard of until someone looked it up. Damn. That's including, like, ancient dialects to, like, ancient Japanese, which she does read fluently. What are you getting? You picked up a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. Let's just uh, school mission part. What? <laughs> That's absurd. Memorizing the whole book. I know it's a talented bunch, but that seems quite a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio for a long time. He once paid rent a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Dick! Yeah, <laughs> 
<laughs> that also reminds that also reminds me of another bit of art I saw that I didn't even realize was a reference to this game. He literally like uh, Shaz like oh, I'm reading this book. Espio picks up the book, flips through it, and just goes, "The butler did it." <laughs> I just want to believe that Knuckles was reading The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm right, Espio quickly... If I'm right, Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. And Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're ta only talking here, what ifs? Let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden! That's right. How is you? How would I you even know that it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were, you were looking to find the passage. Pineapple and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Pineapple. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh, oh yeah. Hmm. It's Shadow. I mean, no. Oh, I know. It has to be Rouge, because she has the blueprints. Yep. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Sorry, blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout out. To scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used it to find a hidden passage. What makes you saw? Uh, what makes you think I even saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. A pineapple? Do you have an answer for it? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found before, them before Rouge yeah. did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? In the library. <laughs> Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with, uh, the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover a hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Pineapple and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure uh, how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Pineapple and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murder Sonic, how did I do it? The blow dogs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He blew the blue hedgehog. It was death. I guess you could say it was a death one. Hey! That was... Oh, come on. Also, they were by the shurikens, so I was right. Like, these are themed by character. Okay. Oh, that's me. Dark Souls. This wow. might be the only like. Uh, this might be the last one in the game. I don't know because like one thing is the game they were playing and Sonic is actually hurt. So I think we keep going past that. Yeah. Oh, but they do give you uh, like a uh, ring capsules, so that should be ten rings all in one go. I'm not here now. Yep. Oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. 
Like, that's the part. It's, it's so normal that I, I am not ready for it. You're going to have to jump the shuriken. Yeah. You're getting the hang of it, don't worry. Figure it out. Yeah. I think the, that uh, jumping over the shuriken is the way to go. And short. Yeah. Oh, we got this, we got this. Yeah, I know. Okay, game, don't stutter. This is actually nerve wracking. thought presses are going, it's becoming very long. Yeah. it with those the, the ones on the left i think like that's a good chunk of them you keep like letting go past you and that might be might be it ah, it worked yeah, I, just gotta... I think you have to risk it in that one on the left near the beginning There you go. Oh, nice. Very nice. Whew. This blow dart was found here in the conductor's room. SBO use this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic was must might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. 
Oswald, you say. Why are there so many holes in it? Like Sonic. You deny the <laughs> allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car. How is Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. The Tails is onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Pineapple and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we have to take, uh, take a look at? I guess it'd have to be this. Well, let's let me check here. Maze. Yeah, what is the string map? I'm gonna try this and see if this Wait. is the one. I don't think it is, but go ahead. Okay. It's probably Wait, the, the train map. Print. Yeah, don't think it's the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, so. Because it would show the vent thing, right? Oh, yeah. Because we can't show the actual vent, so. Yeah. Damn it! I was about to ask. They're right here. You get the rings and the capsule. Must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. Still you? My word. Sorry. <laughs> There's a bug bug here there. In a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying. I somehow fit the Sonic through that bit and took him up to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. It's just right, <laughs> this feeling clings to Tails. I need an answer, my name's getting dragged you over. How on earth would I get Sonic through that map? I'm going to assume that they sped up the train and launched him like a fucking torpedo. <laughs> Which would explain why he's banged the shit! Yep. And we've already established that Espio, while reliable, is a dick. Probably now the rule that might, might make sense. Now the yeah. Oh, great. Hmm. Oh, I hate you, game. And 70 rings. 
And it even stopped at 69. <laughs> I am getting the feeling the game will, will go all the way to 100. Oh fuck, I am screwed on this one. You are leaning the layout, don't worry much about the rings. Scouting. Yeah. G game, why would you stutter on me at just that moment? What is meant to be like a simple shoot game, these get very mean. Yeah, I noticed. Oh my god. Getting brutal. Like, the, yeah, like the detective part of this is pretty much on rails. You don't have to do much and you have no penalty for like errors. But these sections you can't go through until you get them right and that's not the best idea. could have done was keep it in two-dimensional game. Don't have jumping then just don't have left and right. Yeah. Well, like a Sonic game. <laughs> nice! Yeah, that's the trick though is being able to get any rings during that section where everything is collapsing and they're still throwing shit at you. You have to go for as many rings as you can here at the beginning. Like for example, for example here, that's meant to be like a six side. It's gotta be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, also, right. also, yeah. Yeah, edge, yeah. So yeah you, you, you can't get hit. <laughs> This one forces you to go! <laughs> you, are, you are not allowed to die in my watch, boy. <laughs> no, you must suffer! <laughs> Yeah, no, you're gonna fix it. I believe in you. Hmm. And that last part is not forgiving at all. No, it is not. Yeah. Uh, it just off syncs everything. Yeah. That's mean. Yep.
very tricky if you get hit once, you're fucked. Yeah. And it's very hard because there's a section four rings that you literally have to zigzag for. Oh, my game stutter right there. I don't know if you guys ever see the game stutter. Yeah, no, I do it. I see it. Can you get hit in that same spot every time? Yeah, I'm just gonna let this happen. Come on. There we are. Here we go. If, when you hit the capsule, you have uh, 60 rings, you should be good. Like by that point. Because all, of, because all of the times you uh, like miss it by like two rings, uh, like you can throw by that point. Now for the fun part of wait, wait, why won't you let me die? <laughs> oh, you can't actually die. Yeah, you okay, hit by the spikes enough. Okay, good to know. If you have no rings, yeah. You're doing well, you're doing well. You can make it. You are within the threshold. Now don't die. Oh. Have two, have two. Yes! Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, at the ending there, the middle seems like a debate. Everyone saw the broken robot armor on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track of the robot arms she used, uh, uses, uh, that continues through the vents. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic and passed out from the blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Round me through. Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that, those arms do look powerful. Sonic does fall easily, but if he's woozy from a <laughs> blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but uh, you, ha uh, you have to admit that these are a lot of coincidences. I not, might, might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet. But I have found one inconsistency. <laughs> what kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. <laughs> Tails, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking all the doors to trap Sonic. But we found Shadow was trying to keep we found out Shadow was trying to keep me away from discovering him my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Heard you? Yes, I, uh, I said uh, Sonic is gonna get trapped with all of these locked doors. I was just looking for my out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, it's beautiful. What? The evidence might not be your type. But there is a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in a room with a hidden passage. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days. <laughs> I love how birthdays are somehow <laughs> now canonically incredibly sacred in the Sonic universe. <laughs> like the I mean, the birthday. They were the key is a well known privilege. Yes! No doors can be locked! 
<laughs> I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor's car to the dining car. I knew it! And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. And examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! It was you, SBO! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Sonic, you're okay. Sonic! Uh, and we just solved the mystery. Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. Blow door, a blow dart door, really? It's not only the point. We'll be sleeping for a while. Great, I could use in there. Oh wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lay back down or. No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of this train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor wouldn't, hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Flicky, the tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a Flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed, but he refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. Weird. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. <laughs> right as we saw the Fuki, I felt a sting on my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. <laughs> Espio, I was just trying to do a murder mystery here. I'm uh, gonna walk away. <laughs> Ellipses. So, the whole blow dart thing. They had an entire plot point about weapons not being allowed in the train, like the, ar the, the arms grabbing them, so why the fuck he could well, get a blow dart Because here? there was no poison. The poison was just a minor sleeping sedative. Fair enough. At that point, like... Non-lethal. Like, well, yeah, well, here's the thing, yeah. If, if things smart enough to discern between lethal and non-lethal, a blow dart is just a very uh, unnecessarily hard way to administer something like, say, an insulin. Fair enough. Was in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! Oh wait, that's oh, yeah. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced off its, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this while poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. I caught those hands. Oh! <laughs> Actually, no. Since I've already given him a bit of the axe, and let me just do a... Whoa! 
<laughs> the conductor screamed as the arms approached him. I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. I want to play the sound effect. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Oh no, I <laughs> forgot where it is. Hmm. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> Let's see. The situation has gotten so serious, why would you not just tell us? That's how these mystery murder, these murder games work. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <laughs> no, I was just following the rules. See? Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in conductor's car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. <laughs> Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. Oh <laughs> ah. Uh, welcome, Connor. Why, hello there. Yes, Citric, I might need you to translate some of that. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, no, they say that they love the they love the game and they are using a translator. Ah, lovely. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What are those? <laughs> it says use this blow dart. Okay, we already read that. Thank you again for choosing staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed to me. Weapon shouldn't be allowed on the train. What about your hammer, though? That's one of the that's the biggest plot hole that we have here. Yeah. I mean, it's technically a tool. Again, the, the whole issue with the definition of weapons. It's a construction instrument, so it's not a weapon. Yeah. But it's the larger <laughs> picture here. Who instructed those arms to attack? It's a tenderizing mallet. Who or what? Pineapple, who do you think attacks Sonic and Panda Espio the blow dart? I'm gonna say himself, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I believe Sonic's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something once Sonic out of the picture, and for good and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's abandoned, and now it's out to get us. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been ta uh, tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. <laughs> Come on and show yourself! <laughs> Amy! It's my birthday! And I don't need you messing with it. <laughs> Amy's hitting the walls of her hammer! I'm with you, Amy! This train can't have it! <laughs> there you go! <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention! What was that? Oh. Well then. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Here, I can help. I can get him down. Down to touch him. <laughs> huh. Is that train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base! 
There you all rot! Eggman, I should have known you were- it was you. Your after bow tie. I, after I deliver your annoying party right to egg- to his egg fortress. <laughs> annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough! Rain is picking up speed. Everyone grab onto something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive! Goodbye. Ah! I think part of it is that the train like is attached to the conductor because remember this was his last day on the job. Well it's also been 32 years. Yep. Though that's gotta make you wonder how how long do Flicky live and how long do they live as a power source? I'm sure they can change them. <laughs> it's not hard to get one. I can't keep my footing. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Wiley. <laughs> oh, Lord, we're all the way back to the dining can. car. Uh, a bunch of evidence is falling out of my pockets. Ah, uh, ah, uh, my head, tails, Amy. Ah, uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? What need to yell, bud? Sonic! I'm sorry, uh, are you okay? I hang on in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. Also, hey, Jake, how's it going? Hello, Jake. But where's everyone else? Also, Jake, uh, there's a free game you may want to look into streaming. Uh, it's literally the first 20 minutes of the stream. Didn't, I didn't mm -hmm. realize that this would end up as, dear lord, nearly a five-hour stream. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, you might want to check it out. It's a free game. Don't look at anything. Just go to Steam, search Pineapple on Pizza, download it, and then play it. It's twenty. It's 15 to 20 minutes of just going what, and then the ending is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Uh, Don't tell him anymore. Just, just, just Pineapple on Pizza and go, going blind. Yep. <laughs> Where's everyone else? Uh, great question, but for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog is asking about me? <laughs> <laughs> well then. Wow. Amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Uh, let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Window. Oh man. What? What's wrong? <laughs> Windows are all covered up now. And we got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying this train sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. Oh, poor guy. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon after, or another after uh, or another visit. Uh, that'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. HA! The train robbed him! <laughs> the train actually, robbed no, you. <laughs> actually, no, Rouge probably robbed him. Let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, one of those robot arms here, too. Yow, it swiped at me! Let's leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. Yeah, get out of here before the arm swipes us again. Doctor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. Huh? What's this ticket doing here? What was the, his ticket? Maybe he confused a napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin. Ha! Uh, I hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. Do. The. Yeah, the pants. The yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Oh! Oh. There you are. <laughs> well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Oh! Hello? <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You've got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho ho ho! My spiky boot. 
Uh, my spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken the passage on one of my passenger trains. <laughs> yeah. You own this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me! <laughs> ah, ignoring that, we certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't very well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your town was just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build an Eggman, Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for the future schemes. <laughs> I love that, that, like, Eggman actually invests in the infrastructure of the planet and probably improves a bunch of stuff, all so that he can later take over the planet and it runs. <laughs> Let me guess, another death egg? Doctor Predictable? Go ahead. <laughs> the people fear giant spheres. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. <laughs> you see, the capabilities of a badnik normally are very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision, and report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intelligent thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it, the train really is sentient. sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. This is the kind of stuff that I love about Eggman is that he is constantly like, the only thing that's actually in his way is really just Sonic. So he constantly needs to do things to keep himself motivated. And so he just starts like fights between his underlings. So I institute a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture your pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. The train was to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train? It may ask for something more interesting. Uh, as much as I like war programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog! I already do. And lost. <laughs> Ciao. You always knew how to get under my skin. It was tough. The train has motivation and is being made by Eggman. It's no, no doubt very powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt, the conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Which one do you want to go with? Oh, they, are, party? They, are basic, they are basically the same. Uh, probably the top one. Yeah. Am I at fault here? Well, I didn't know Sonic was hurt all along, and then just completely forgot about it. That is yeah. technically true. Hey. I can tell you the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you there. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass. Keep living. Even learn? <laughs> I need you here helping me think this through before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay. 
We gotta get to the conductor's car before the trainer arrives at Eggman's base. Doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? I think believe in yourself. <laughs> believe it. A merry obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure this out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Let's be through, through head on and rescue all our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Wow, well the big wind-up Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get through the door open. Now the road's clear. Nothing can stop Dude. us. <laughs> As best I said, how much more of the game do we know we have? Because I also still need to actually get out of my house really quickly. I have no idea. Okay. Also, why are you on this one? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Here, hold on to your butts. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Is this foreshadowing? Is this <laughs> telling us? I Where think we're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to say, actually, give me a second and let's save here, because we've been going for nearly five hours. Yeah. Yeah, we can pick this up. Uh, Wiley, do you have uh, uh, D and D this coming Tuesday? I shouldn't. Okay. But I have. I was going to catch Joe up with Mandalorian. I mean, I don't think we have more than an hour left of this game, so we could possibly do it a little earlier too. All depending on if my job gets back to me, but we'll we'll put a pin in and say we'll try to figure something out. But yeah, let me do a yeah. save here. Okay, everyone, let's uh, throw up the BRB screen. I want to thank everybody for sticking with us for two games and uh, nearly five hours. Ugh. Guys, where can people find you? Wiley, why don't you take it away first? All right. Well, you can find me at Willy on Twitch and Twitter. I play mostly randomizers. And whenever I feel like it, music and random other games. Uh, you can also find me, on, as mentioned, Fire and Tarts channel on Tuesdays. Well, except we won't be, we won't have games for a while because we're taking a break as... Uh, Jake and Martin, I'm guessing Punk as well, have to move out somewhere. Uh, aside from that, find me here at, at Save by the Spell on every other Saturday. True. I'm we forgetting one more. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, on Thursdays, you can find me at Helix Sucks channel where we play Ocarina of Time. I'm going to try to get him to install Multi World and tr hopefully we'll actually play the same thing together and not just, you know, the same randomized thing together. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I have YouTube and Ko-Fi at Wiley Willie. Alrighty. Uh, Citric, where can people find you? Uh, mainly, like, pretty much everywhere uh, with at uh, Citric King in, like, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, hey, short and sweet, man. Yeah. And you've already found That's me here. You already found me here at twitch.tv slash burnout Vaughn. Not sure uh, when our next stream will be because uh, I'm juggling possibly starting a new job, but I also would have to check my email and see if they've even sent me anything. Uh, I was supposed to start Monday, but apparently nobody's gotten back to me on that. So we'll find out as things happen. And uh, I'll try to keep you posted all on Twitter. The only other thing I can say is, again, we should be having a uh, Say by the Spell stream Saturday. And uh, other than that, uh, keep on the lookout for uh, possibly something that will be coming to Tuesdays now that uh, Cholta Personality is officially on a hiatus. But uh, other than that, I think I'm just going to take the easy option and uh, do... We'll just raid one Mr. Connor McKinley. And we said earlier, we all know the raid message. It's going to be pineapple on pizza. It's heresy. But, uh, well, it's pretty much the easiest thing we can do, especially after pineapple on pizza gave us so much like joy. So we will see you yeah. all when we see you. Thank you all for coming out. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.